Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. So today I'm here with another FGO video and I'm going to check out all the summer JP servants that have come out and live stream was you know uh, give, shown on the FGO JP channel and uh, some new servants are out summer servants JP summer servants of 2021 and I'm pretty excited to check them out and I have to say like this time I had refrained myself from actually checking out what the servants are. I don't even have all the, you know, like I usually kind of check out the NP, keep them like, you know, kind of keep them ready for me to react to. As soon as I turn my camera on, I kind of do it. But this time I didn't do anything. I'm going to first check out what servants they are because I want a surprise factor going. <laughs> and then I'm going to find, try to find out their NP and stuff. And after that, I'll react to that. So. Uh, okay, so for that, uh, like one thing I have heard from a uh, few of my friends is uh, some are Erish Kigal and some are Kama might be coming. I don't know if the, like, you know, uh, if one of the servants have been introduced in this, like, you know, event, but usually summer banners have two, like, you know, two um, separate uh, summoning pools. So I'm guessing either like one will be in this banner and the other one will be in the next banner, something like that. I'm pretty excited to get like, you know, if, if Summer Kama and Ayushkigal are both there, Summer Ayushkigal, it'll be, it will be amazing. And I'm hoping that uh, like I get to like, you know, like either of them comes at least, like at least one servant, either Summer Ayushkigal or Summer Kama. Because I am really like, after I heard that, I was so excited. I was like, oh my God, like this is amazing. So let's check out what servants this uh, banner actually has. And okay, um, let me see. All right, here it is. Okay, the Kaldia Summer Adventure. Okay, the summoning pool. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, there's no Kama nor Erish Kigal. Okay, but, but we have some servants here. I can see good servants. Okta Soji, Saber Altar, Anastasia and V. And Charlotte Corday. Caster, oh, I never expected Charlotte Corday. Okay, interesting choice of servants, I have to say. All right, now, now I'm going first. I'm going to check uh, check out the noble phantasms. For that, I go have to find out the videos first. So, like, there might be a cut here. So I'll see you guys after I find the videos. All right, uh, I have found out all the videos, and first I'm going to take check out the TVCMs. That's also out, and all the videos that I'll be reacting to in my uh, reaction video will be given down in the description box. Uh, you know, if you've not checked them out, I'm sure you've checked it out. Then you can click on that and go to the video that I'm reacting to. So yeah, guys, without further ado, let's get started. First, I'll uh, check out uh, mm, the TVCM, then I'll check out the Noble Phantasms and the animations. Of the servants and then i'm going to talk about their skills the noble phantasm like you know all the stuff and the ascension arts i'll all watch them all so it'll be a long video <laughs> i have I'll like you know there's like three and more servants so yeah let's start the tvcm here we go Whoa. This is a dragon. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, this is like a, uh, the TV scene is like a little, um, as I said, like a summer adventure thing. Like, it's like you're in like a, I don't know, some kind of a treasure island or something. I'm not so sure. But we can see there's a little dragon that Leonardo da Vinci, uh, I'm guessing, uh, oh, this, uh, we also getting uh, Leonardo da Vinci Lily, aren't we? As a free servant, yeah. So we're getting her and this is the character. Uh, I'm also I'm going to check her out, check her uh, skills and everything out. Okay, so she's find a dr dragon and it's in, it's in an island, obviously. Okay, it is Charlotte Corday and uh, I always forget his name. Uh, I always forget this guy's name. It's something with M. I'm sorry, but I always forget his name. It's, a name is quite difficult to remember. And... Uh, Okay, oh, Gordy. Wait, is this Kainis? I think so, isn't it? Wait is, wait, is she going to get another swimsuit servant later on in the next banner? It might be, otherwise, why would they show the, her here? Okay, and this Edward <laughs> Teach kind of rolling. Oh, I think we can, like, we can just see the characters here who we're going to get in the next banner. 
Wait, who is this? He has elf ears. No. Is that elf ears? What is that? Um Am I like why can I not recognize her? Is he is she like a new servant or something? Or am I just unable to recognize her? And who is this girl? God. I really am unable to recognize them. Like I feel like this is karma. I don't know. I'm not sure if this is karma. Like but who is this? Like Who is this? Who are all these cat there's they look so different with the swimsuits on I cannot recognize them. Obviously this is Akai's that I can get. But this is a little servant here, I'm not sure who this is. This is so many servants. Who is this? Who is this girl? This is obviously Okita. Oh, Christopher Columbus is also here. Okay, this is obviously Okita, we can see that Okita altar. I'm guessing the new servant, the Saber servant. And okay, here are all the servants. Oh, this is Shei Shonagon. Okay, now that I see her properly, I can recognize her. This is Kama, isn't it? I think so. I might be wrong though. This is Leonardo da Vinci, Marsh, Charlotte, uh, that, that I forgot his name. Um, Blackbeard. Is this Mario Internet or no, no, I don't think so. Oh no, this must be uh, Anastasia, isn't it? Ah, uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. This must be Anastasia. Okay, this is Kainis, this is obviously Gordy. This is Okita, uh, the new servant. Who is this little kid? I don't recognize her. Kind of looks like Okita in a way. And this is Akai's. Okay, wow, a lot of servants I can see. And then there's this huge thing. Okay. Alright, that was a TVCM. A lot of servants we can see here and... Okay, I guess we're going to get in the next banner, we're going to get uh, Summer Kama. Like, there's no Erish Kigal. I didn't see her here. So, yeah, I think that was like uh, wrong information. <laughs> so, but I'm, I think that is Kama. I might be wrong. Like, it, it, she kind of looks like Kama. So, anyways. Okay, so that was that. Now I'm going to check out the new servants, um, Noble Phantasms, and their animation, attack animation. So, first of all, uh, the servant that I'm going to check out is Leonardo da Vinci Lily uh, or Da Vinci Archer. So, okay, I'll check her out first and talk about her, like, you know, uh, all, all of the things, like how she fights her animations, and then I'm, I'll move to the next one. So, here we go. Uh, and again, I'll be linking down the original video that I'm reacting to in this video in the description box. So, Da Vinci Chan Swimsuit Demonstration and Noble Phantasm. Let's check it out. Okay. Oh, we already have um What the What was that? Okay. She puts on her sunglasses and and takes it off. What the hell? <laughs> All right. Okay, that was the skill animation. Art? No. Okay. Alright. Okay, Buster, Buster, Buster. Let's see. Let's see her Noble Phantasm first. It's a Buster Noble Phantasm. She's an archer, isn't it? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, she uses a gun. No, that's a flare gun. Okay, that was a colorful noble phantasm. What? Wait, is that an armadillo? Wait, so her bullets contain animals? Yes. Wow, that's interesting. That's 
very creative. <laughs> wow. My god, I love this. Yeah, she, uh, her bullets got an animal. <laughs> she kind of catches it and puts it. <laughs> oh. Very colorful. I love that. <laughs> I love it when she catches it. <laughs> oh my god. Now, okay, that's cute. Gave the names, I'm guessing. Oh. <laughs> All right, so. Oh. Okay, so she has a parrot. Uh, armadillo, I'm guessing that is. I'm not sure what that is. And a duck. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that an armadillo or a rhino? What is that? No, that's not an armadillo. What the hell? I'm sorry, I'm bad at animal <laughs> recognizing animals. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's nice to get an uh, Archer Buster um, AOE NP Servant, you know? That's to who is free, that we everyone is going to get. <laughs> oh, that's a dinosaur! Oh, in the Noble Phantasm, she summons a dinosaur. <laughs> okay, I like, I really like this. <laughs> okay, um, so I, I really like her animations and everything. Like, He's an events, uh, like, you know, free event servant. And it's very, what can I say, colorful. Like, all the colors and uh, the animals that she's summoning. Uh, okay, so he has, like, three animals which she summons. Uh, one is, I'm not sure what that is, that little thing. Like, that looks like a little rhino, or I'm not sure what that actually is. But that thing, uh, this is that's like a parrot and a duck so i'm guessing every yeah every one of them is like a different like uh, every card has like its uh constituent animal you know i'm guessing like the buster card has the little rhino thing yeah the um, what else uh the okay just a sec okay i think the yeah the arts card has the duck that she rides and the uh what was that the quick card has the parrot thing that she uses so and her noble phantasm is very colorful it's like you know she, she, she like sounds a dinosaur yeah just a sec let me check that again uh, no wait uh okay uh the first noble phantasm she summons a, a big bird Okay, and, and the next noble phantasm, I think she summons a dinosaur? What was that? Just a sec. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, is does a noble phantasm change? Uh, if you... Wait a minute. 
yeah so wait her noble phantasm changes like i like the first noble phantasm we saw had like a green bullet which she inserted and it summoned a the, the green bird big green bird uh the next noble phantasm that we see uh she summons a blue bullet just a sec yeah a blue bullet and it it brings out the big dinosaur thing in, in the water the the duck thing that i think it gets bigger or something so this is there like a version of the red noble phantasm as well where she uh summons that thing the the rhino thing or whatever i think so wow okay that's interesting like she has like a three three types of noble phantasm like they have i'm guessing they have the same effect but the visuals are different that's kind of nice so okay uh, i'm going to check out all the servants noble phantasm and skills first then i'm going to check out uh their in, like you know ascension arts and all the other things so that was Leonardo da vinci uh archer okay the next one i'm going to check out is that's two videos uh okay this video is going to take a long time a lot of things to actually check check out all right uh the next one is okta altar and rengoku what who's rengoku comes with de demonstration and np uh this is the okay the uh, okta altar has two videos i can see one has her skills at Mm, her first and second ascension and the next one has a third ascension art skills and noble phantasm let's check them out okay i'm not sure who this rengoku is but all right let's see i'll i'll, I'll get my answer i think let's go oh wait the kid is with her oh that girl is rengoku Okay, can tell me someone tell me who Rengoku is? Is she like a Wait, she, she's like holding her? <laughs> okay. Also so that girl is not a separate servant. She's with Okta. Aruji, she, she's calling her master. Okay. Like, is Rengoku also like a character of the Shinsengumi or something? Let please let me know in the comment section. Whoa, what? She's <laughs> holding the. Oh my god, that's cute. She's kind of holding her hand. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, nice. Okay. Like, when she uses a noble phantasm, I think Rengoku fuses with her or something? Like, becomes an armor. Okay. <laughs> she just chunks her. <laughs> She just chugs her at the enemy. Wow, there's a lot of critical stuff. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> my god, what is this? <laughs> this. Oh my god, this is amazing. She's like hitting the enemy from one side. Okta goes towards the enemy's back and slashes. Okay, is that a sword that Rengoku is holding or is that a gun? No, that's a sword, I think. Yeah, it is a sword. Oh my god. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> what the oh my god oh, oh my god this is really cute they kind of holds her up and okay she's a 
Quick Saber. Okay, Quick Noble Phantasm Saber. Do we have a Quick Noble Phantasm Saber? I can't remember. Yeah, okay, she becomes the armor, I think. Like, here. Like, she's still fused, and then. I'm guessing she comes out of the armor or something. All right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh boy. I yeah, I really love this animation. The way she My god, this this little kid is strong. She's like handling such a big weapon. She punches. <laughs> okay. All right. Majin no zetsugi, o mise shimashou. Koko wa makasero. Wakarimashita. So this is the second ascension art animations. And the first ascension art. I, I don't think any I, I don't see any difference between them. The first ascension art and the second ascension art. Like the art is changed, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the animation. But I'm guessing the third The third one will have changes. Alright. Okay, I'm guessing she she's a great crit star generator, isn't she? Yeah, like her attacks have a lot of hits. Like it'll boost up the NP generation. My god, look at the crit stars. Like it'll boost the NP generation, the crit star generation, everything. So and she's a saber. <laughs> Rengoku saying I'm not sleeping. Okay, I'm sure there's like a story behind this, you know, like from where Rengoku suddenly is. Like I'm not sure. Like there has never been any mention of Rengoku, has there? And I'm not even sure of who she is. Must be something related to her lore. She just looks like a little Okta, you know? Like a a young Okta. Okta Alter, not the Ultra Chan to Rengoku. Ultra Dai Shori! Okay, that was really cute. Um I love the <laughs> the animations that were she basically chucks and the, the first thing that she does is chucks Rengoku towards the enemy. I'm guessing that's her name because she's kind of calling her Rengoku. So <laughs> she chucks her at the enemy and he, she kind of slashes the enemy. Like and then the next animation is like she Did she like pick her by the leg or something? Just a sec. Just a sec. Um like this one this is the one where she chucks her. Also catches her. And okay, this one. No, she okay. She's she's holding her by the hand. I thought she's holding her by the leg or something. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you know? Okay, so she holds her hand and kind of uses her as like a sword and Rengoku also has her sword and kind of slashes the enemy. Damn, these animations are getting un more unique as the days go by. Like, I love it. <laughs> so, like, so, like, what can I say? Unexpected. Like, I never expected Da Vinci suddenly shooting bullets, which has 
animals inside them and i never expected okta and like you know having a little like you know, a little uh, kid with her who also fights with her and she kind of chugs her at the enemy and then kind of uses her as a sword and but you know what like one thing i'll i'll admit that even though she's chugging her at the enemy she kind of goes and catches her back again like that's good that's responsible you know like should, so that she doesn't get hurt and stuff so <laughs> Okay, another thing, uh, during her Noble Phantasm, and her Noble Phantasm is really Okta Altar Noble Phantasm, you know, like the Okta Altar we know, the, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, the one that we use now that is in NA, that Okta Altar, uh, she, it, like, it, the, the, the atmosphere and everything, the color scheme is all the same in a way, and the way she kind of like, you know, does the whole thing in the end where we should get a close up of her face, it's completely Okta Altar, but uh, it's obviously it's, that's not it. There it is to it. Or we see like by the end of it, we see like her and Rengo kind of like duel, like you know, fighting in a way and attacking the enemy. And then there's the last this scene where they you know, kind of slash the enemy and they uh, get hit. Now the thing that I was saying in her Noble Phantasm, uh, we see I'm guessing they kind of fuse over here, like this section. Like here, we can see both of them, and yeah, okay, I, here it is. Like they kind of fuse. Like there's like a shield and a, a armor suit, everything. So is Rengoku like the weapon or sword which has been, uh, which has just taken a form of a human child or something? Is it something like that? Let me know in the comment section. Okay, anyways, um, let's check out the next one. This video is going to get very long, otherwise. Ah, oh, boy. All right. Uh, let's check out the next one. This one is the third ascension art of uh, Okta um, Altar uh, and you know the Saber one. Just a sec. Um, all right. So yeah, the third ascension art swimsuit demonstration and NP. Here we go. I'm guessing there will be something different here. Yeah. Okay. This is the third ascension. We don't see Rengoku here. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, Rengoku is the armor. And her voice completely changed. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Okay, so Rengoku is the um, armor and the I'm guessing the weapon as well. Okay, let's see. Okay, the Noble Phantasm also kind of changed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it has changed. Now, Okta is uh, like, you know, alone here. Like, there's no Rengoku. Okay. You know what? I usually um, prefer to use the third Noble Phantasm if I actually get the Servant. But for, I'm, I'm guessing if I like, ever get her or something. Wow. Whoa. God. Yeah, as I was saying, if I actually get her or something, I'm going to use her second ascension or the first ascension. But this animation also looks very cool. Whoa! Damn, this 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 effect is really cool. Though when the uh, ground kind of breaks. Wow! Oh, I also like her hair. Like, you know, that's her hair, isn't it? Like a flaming, um, yellowish type of a color. Yeah, that, that is her hair, isn't it? Or, or not? No, that's not her hair. What is that? Wow. Okay, so she punches and attacks with a sword and shield. Oh, 
animation is very cool as well oh my god okay now i'm conflicted like if i actually plan on pulling for her in the future i'm conflicted that if i ever get her what i'm going to even use like will i use the second ascension or the third ascension like, I, I thought i would use the second ascension because rengoku is also there but this animation looks very cool <laughs> okay. So Rengoku is also like her. She kind of goes to sleep or something, you know? Like there's this one instance where she was asking her, Are you, are you awake? She's like, Yeah. All right, okay. Okay, this is really Majin Saber, Dai Shori, Dana. Okay, this is really cool. It's really cool. I love the fact that it has actually separate animations, and even the noble phantasms are different for the Ascension arts. And uh, yeah, like this, like. If, if the first one was really like you know uh, unique if the first and the second ascension art attacks animations were really unique this is cool this is really cool the animations here are very cool like she actually uses her fists i'm guessing uh, her sword and her shield and her uh, character art is also very cool she has like a flaming thing behind her i'm not sure what that actually is and her armor and her shield Wow, it's amazing. It's, it's looking very cool. And yeah, like the animations like obviously remind me of Okta Alter. You know, the, the way precise and like, you know, the, the way it is precise and quick, you know, her attacks. And uh, it's, it's completely Okta Alter. And like, obviously this is Okta Alter, but she's just Saber. So <laughs> yeah, all right. And uh, all right, that was it. That was Okta Alter's, uh, you know, swimsuit uh, uh, southern demonstration and the animation Noble Phantasms. So, all right, that was her. Now, the next one that I'm going to react to is Anastasia and V. Okay, so, second, Anastasia and V, uh, oh God, what's happening? Anastasia and V swimsuit demonstration and noble phantasm. Let's go. Boy. Okay. Oh, that's V, isn't it? Yeah, the little thing. V is also wearing a little hue. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay. Okay, she has an art noble phantasm. Okay, Anastasia also kind of sounds different here. She sounds more cheerful. Mm, obviously, she is you know, wearing a swimsuit, so it's definitely be cheerful. She's in a festive mood, you know? Alright. Okay, let's see the noble phantasm. Oh. oh my god. It's noise. Don't eat it. Don't. Okay, she didn't eat it. Thank god. I thought she was going to eat it or something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whoa, what the? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> 
Very creative. That was that was good. Oh. Oh no! What? <laughs> Whoa! She's basically playing. You know all these summer activities that you can do. Um, smash the watermelon. There it is. Smash the watermelon. She also has a blindfold on. She has a blindfold on and using crit. Okay. Chugging snowballs. And a big snowball. Alongside a small snowball. <laughs> okay, she, she's a single target, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, single target noble standard. Arts. Oh my god. Okay, V throws a snowball, Anastasia throws a snowball, and the bigger V throws a snowball. Oh my god, th this one is amazing. We basically... Oh boy. Oh my god. Wow, this this year's uh, Summer Servants has some really unique, you know, animations and everything. <laughs> Alright. And I think she has like a decent amount of good stuff. Okay. Decent. Not that much, but decent. <laughs> I love the fact that V also has a swimming tube. Like, why should we forget about him, you know? She also he also needs his Feeling accessory, you know. All right. <laughs> God. Natsu天地で冬となり、陽光は天地で雪となり、寒々しさこそ我が宿命。花のように凍り出され、スニエクレーター。Okay. I think that's it, yeah. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> that her animations are again very unique. Wow, every servant has like their own charm point. I love that really. You know, like, like it feels as if like you want them all, and we still have not seen Charlotte Corday's animations. I'm quite looking forward to that as well. And okay, so here one thing I like it really reminded me of the her Noble Phantasm is uh, Kiara's Noble Phantasm and uh, Sherazade's Noble Phantasm. You know, where they basically kind of become big, and both of the Noble Phantasm are kind of same, where they kind of like you know. Uh, transform their enemy into something like Kiara kind of like you know like <laughs> takes it in um, Sherazade can transform them into the scroll and you know kind of tucks it in <laughs> and she here she basically transforms them into a ice cream yeah shaved ice cream and kind of like playing with that now <laughs> Like I thought she was going to eat it at first, like you know, when the when the shaved ice cream came out, 
I was like, oh my god, is she like going to eat it or something? And she just like was like dancing with it. I was like, okay, then that's okay. <laughs> my god. Wow. I, and I really like the fact that this is fully, fully summer themed, you know? Fully summer themed. She, everything that she does is summer themed. The, the, the watermelon crushing, uh, the, uh, what, what else was that? The, 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 the thing with the shooting out watermelon seeds using, using her mouth and um what else uh throwing the water on top of using v you know throwing the water on the head of the enemies wow oh my god these all of these servants are just great all right okay so that was um anastasia and v uh okay let's check out charlotte corday mm, assess no uh charlotte corday caster i think yeah, Charlotte Corday, Magician, Demonstration, and NP. All right, let's check this out. Start. Okay. Oh, Magician. Okay, she's a Magician here. <coughs> she's showing some card tricks. All right. Okay. All right. Let's see her animation. Okay, she's also an art snowball fan. Yes, okay. Where have I heard her voice actor? The voice actor seems really familiar. I'll have to check it out. Oh, she's going to show a magic trick. Wow. Oh my god. Charlotte got illusion. Pam <laughs> paka pam. Oh. Okay, she's magic magician team. Okay, she's magician themed. All right. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> okay uh, very um again unique so okay oh this is new <laughs> okay, not magician. I'm going to say circus team in a way, or maybe magician. No, magician team, not circus team. Magician team. Oh, whoa, what the? Okay, this is another new one. <laughs> okay, we have some really, as I said, unique servants this uh, year in JP. I can see that. Okay, I'm also going to check out their uh, skills and everything, you know, uh, after this.
Okay, uh, the little thing that she has by her side, I think she called it Tenshi Chan. That means it's, it's, it's an angel. Um, here in the Noble Phantasm. Yeah, this one, this thing. <laughs> That's angel, isn't it? All right. <laughs> okay. There you go. Alright, um I'm be honest, I'll be honest here. Uh I liked her obviously, but I think uh the other two servants uh have some like you know not two but three even I really like the Da Vinci uh, archers uh you know animations and everything as well. Uh this also has some unique animations and stuff, but I think I prefer those two before uh those three before like you know this one. Uh, and that's just my preference, you know, and uh, yeah, like those, like those noble phantasm were fantastic. I really loved Okta's noble phantasm, uh, Da Vinci Lily's noble phantasm, and um, Anastasia's noble phantasm. Like all three of them, I really liked. And this, this one, like you know, like it's kind of uh, has a little bit less, um, what do you call it, impact, according to me. That's just my opinion, like you know, like obviously pe different people will have different opinions. It's just mine. So yeah, okay, and uh, like you know, as we can see, like it's magician themed in a way. Like she uses her, you know, all the tricks, the magic tricks that magicians use, and she kind of does that. And uh, yeah, that's that's it. And I think she's like a single target noble phantasm. Yeah, I think so. And uh, yeah, that's. That's it. That's it of for Charlotte Cord a magician. I'm going to check out her skills and everything individually after this. But another servant that I can see here is Shay Shonagun, swimsuit NPC. Now I'm not sure if this is just an NPC servant or we're going to get her as a uh, actual servant in the next banner. But let's just check out her noble phantasm and her you know um, servant demonstration. Uh, demonstration, you know. So, alright, this is Che Shonagun swimsuit NPC demonstration, and let's go! Okay. So, oh, she's eating ice cream, okay. And getting brain freeze, alright. Whoa, oh, she has a. Skateboard. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> what? What? Okay. Yes, Whoa! Alligator. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> she starts everything in a very calm way and then she's just like You know goes with the Like look at this she starts very Calmly and then completely goes crazy Okay, I can see that she has very good damage Oh Okay, oh, she has, uh, oh, she's a berserker. Quick berserker, uh, quick noble phantasm berserker. Wow, okay, so... I'm guessing she will be as a playable servant later on. Whoa, she has a spray can. Whoa! Ah. 
Okay, so she's a quick card, single target, berserker, noble phantasm ninja. I feel like a normal damage does more damage than the normal phantom. You know, normal crit damage. Like it's like immense damage. She's. Uh... <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Now I can see that it's written no NPC demonstration. So I'm guessing she's just an NPC for now. But probably in the next banner she's going to be a uh, be a servant or something. I'm not sure, but. I think so. Okay, I love her, like, you know, um, animations, attack animations. Again, it's very unique and I really like it. But her Noble Phantasm was a little bit, like, you know, lacked a little bit impact than the other servants that I'm, I have seen in this, you know, in the summer, um, what do you call it? In this summer banner. Like, her Noble Phantasm, she basically kind of spray paints the <laughs> an enemy. So... It kind of lacks a little bit of impact but it's very colorful and like comparing it to all the other servants noble phantasm but her animations are great it's crazy her animation she, she you know, kind of uses an alligator kind of whacks the person with a hammer <laughs> uses her skateboard and uh, yeah like uses the hammer which kind of shoots out some beam stuff so yeah that that was really good uh, okay, so that was Sei Shonagun, and uh, yeah, okay, so that's it. All the video, like you know, watching all the videos are over. Now I'm going to look at their um, skills and uh, you know all the other stuff that they have. All right, so <clears throat> okay, so one thing, uh, so there are some new costumes I think for the male servants. All right, all right, uh, let's see. Uh, Let's check out the costumes first. I think, uh, just a sec. The first costume is, um, Akai's. Uh, Akai's costume. Let's check it out. And I think we saw this before in, it, it already, like, you know, we, we saw this in the uh, anniversary, I think. And, okay, so this is the costume. It's very, like, you know, very cool looking. And, yeah, like... It looks really amazing with the <laughs> yeah like like wearing a you know, sunglass thing and has like like wearing a vest and the what, what can i say the, the position of this art is in a weird way i'm not getting a frontal position i could have been able to check out his costume even better but from this, all I can get is like, it's very cool looking. That's that's one thing I can see. And um, yeah, we already saw this in, uh, as I said, like, in, in the uh, anniversary, I think there was a little, they kind of showed it to us, kind of a little teaser in a way they gave us. And uh, we already saw this. So yeah, this one I already know. But the other two, uh, I think there's... Uh, I, I always forget his name. What is his name? Oh, yeah. Ma Mandy Car Ma Ma Mandri Cardo, isn't it? Yeah, that's his name. Okay, he gets a summer suit, which is um, this one. Mm. Okay, so she's like wear he's like wearing a, you know, a casual clothing. And uh, yeah, he, he really looks nice here. You know, like it's very like you know not not normal but a very casual dress but it looks good on him really good i really like his you know, hairstyle his hairstyle is quite nice <laughs> uh, especially in this one uh the, her, his original hairstyle is also kind of cool but i kind of prefer this one i think well no, it, it's the same it, it's basically the change in perspective that's kind of making me feel yeah the hairstyle is same i can see that <laughs> the change of perspective is kind of making me feel like, yeah, this is really cool. But, okay, so yeah, that was Mandi Cardo. I'm sorry if I am pronouncing his name wrong. But, yeah. Okay, so another one that is getting um, a, uh, a costume is Edward Teach. I think so. Yeah. Because they are the ones who are getting, uh, you know, uh, rate up in the male banner. Yeah, here it is. 
Edward Teach. Whoa! I love this costume. What is this? Damn, he looks. <laughs> uh, Blackbeard looks amazing. Wait, which is what is this uh, figurine in the in the back? Is Drake figurine? <laughs> I noticed that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's a Drake figurine. Oh my god! And he's like, you know kind of cool, like using putting up his hair, bare chest with a necklace, and skull a skull belt. So with the hand watch, uh, wine in his hand. Wow. And the good thing here is everyone is going to get this costume because everyone has him. Oh boy, that's that's fantastic. <laughs> God, I really like this. I, I'll have to say, like, uh, even though Akal's uh, costume is really great, I love uh, like out of the men, like you know, out of the male servants, I love this costume more. This is fantastic. I really love Edward Teaches costume and especially his you know pose the way he's posing for the like you know ascension uh, not ascension but the costume art damn this is fantastic great great job and yeah he finally got something you know like he has all like, kind of been neglected for quite a while <laughs> he got something i'm happy all right uh, that was uh, that was the male servants they are getting these costumes and uh, I'm not sure if we're going to get some male servants in the next banner, but we'll have to wait for it. I don't think we're going to get male servants because the trailer kind of showed a few other servants, which are, you know, yeah, I don't know, but let's just wait for it. Okay, so that was that, and now let us check out um, where is it? The servants, uh, ascension arts, and their um, uh, skill description and the noble phantasm description. Okay, so first ascension art of Okita Soji Saber Altar is this one. Okay, we can see Rengoku here and as well, like, you know, Okita as well. It's obviously wearing a swimsuit and has very colorful uh, outer you know, coat, I think that is. And oh my god, Rengoku has a little backpack. <laughs> a blue black ba backpack. Ooh, okay, now one thing. Like the Rengoku here, is she, is she a male or a female? Like, let me know in the comment section because I thought she, she was a female, you know, when we saw her. And then in the last ascension, when she kind of fuses with Okta, there's like a male voice coming out. I was like, what's happening? Like, let me know in the comment section. Is, is this a male or a female? The little Rengoku that we can see. So, yeah. Okay, that was the first ascension art. Uh, the next one is okay this one all right um here we can see they've changed the costume uh okta is wearing a white swimsuit now and obviously wrong Goku as okay she she is a female isn't it yeah she's wearing a, a, a dress like a skirt having a, a dress having a skirt so yeah that is a female but so then why does in her final ascension art her voice kind of becomes like a male voice like yeah i think that's a male voice isn't it when she was talking with uh, Okita during the animation scenes I don't know but anyways um yeah okay so yeah now this is like a white color themed dress and uh, yeah <laughs> it's cute like you know like, I really like Rengo like, it's a little version of Okita <laughs> looks like <laughs> oh my god okay and uh, yeah all right so that was the second ascension art the third ascension art is completely different from the first two. Here we can see that Rengoku has fused with her, and uh, Okita is wearing like a swimsuit. And oh, that is her hair. I think so. Yeah, her hair kind of is like flaming yellow now, and she has like a armored you know, lower portion, <laughs> has, a, has a shield, and has like wearing like a howry kind of thing. I think that is, and. I love the background as well. It's like, like you know, shooting stars and everything. And there's like a yellow themed, uh, what do you call it? Like a glow. And this is a really cool um, ascension art. Third one. But as I said, like, you know, I really, like, you know, like Rengoku is not here. That's the only, like, you know, uh, negative part here. Like, I would have loved to use this, like, if I get her or if I actually roll for her, you know? 
like I would have loved to use this ascension art, but Rengoku is not here, and like that's that's a real shame because this ascension art looks really cool. Anyways, okay, so that's the third ascension art, and the final ascension art, the fourth one, is this one. Okay, okay, we have both of them now. <laughs> And they're kind of like, you know, kind of splashing around in the water, I guess. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's cute. All right. So that was Okta Soji, uh, Saber Altar. Okay, now let's check out her skills. Now, the first one, Majin Sword B++. It is, uh, excuse me, increases own attack for three turns, increases quick performance for three turns, increases busting performance for three turns. Okay, this kind of reminds me of Okta Alter's skill, you know, which she already has. Here we get an additional um, <clears throat> attack bonus. So the attack bonus at level 1 is 20%, level 10 is 30%, the quick bonus is 10% at level 1, 20% at level 10, buster is also the same, 10%, 20% at 10. <clears throat> uh, it's an okay skill, like the amount of bonus that it's getting is not that much. But it's still like you know like it, it's getting an attack bonus of like 30 percent that's quite quite big and a buster bonus of max 20 percent and a quick bonus so okay that's it kind of makes up for it in my opinion okay the second skill purgatory b uh, charges on np gods charges on critical damage for three turns and increases own critical start absorption for one turn oh the np charge is 20 percent at level one 30% at level 10. Again, it's kind of similar to Okita Alter, as far as I can remember, yeah. And the critical damage, uh, 30% and 50% at level 10. Uh, okay, that's decent. And the start absorption is 300% and 500% at level 10. Okay, so it'll also be quite, like she has like two quick uh, command, uh, two quick cards, so you'll be able to use easily, you know, rack up the what do you call it? Uh, the quick the critical starts so all right okay so that was the second skill again mm, yeah decent amount like not what can i say like not i don't think it's that much of a big thing but it's decent i don't know like and i i'm kind of like, like talking according to my experiences i might be wrong though like maybe this like she can be used in some strategy or something <laughs> i'm not sure but yeah all right anyways the third skill what is this what's the name of the skill it's like check. what it's written in japanese just a sec let me check out some other uh some others right oh jitsu getsu okay jitsu getsu a oh the second one was named purgatory but obviously purgatory means rengoku so it's uh, the, the second skill's name is rengoku and the first skill is a uh, majin sword the second one is uh, rengoku uh, uh, majin sword no, majin ken okay in japanese majin ken rengoku and jitsu getsu all right uh, okay so that's the name of the third skill uh, it grants self influence uh, oh god <laughs> Self inv invincibility for two attacks. Two attacks. Okay, three turns. Oh, okay, two attacks. Okay, okay. Uh, increases own NP generation rate for three turns. All right, NP rate increases by twenty percent at level one and thirty percent at level ten. Okay, so she seems seems kind of like a, what do you call it? A decent servant, you know. And uh, what can I say? Not like not completely broken like some other servants we got introduced to previously. <laughs> you know, Oberon, uh, like, you know, Kwanskaya, not like them, obviously, like she's a summer servant. But yeah, it's, it's a decent set of skills and decent, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, amount of buffs that she get. All right, so that was the skills. The Noble Phantasm is a rank A. Uh, Zekken Mukyu Issen. Um, it's uh, what do you call it? Uh, it has an effect of removes all enemies' defensive buffs. Oh, activates itself first. Okay, interesting. Okay, this one's will be quite handy. That means uh, defensive buffs means the defense up, the quick up, uh, quick resistance up, the arse resistance, buster resistance up, 
Oh, it also removes evade, invincibility. Oh, anti purge defense. I think this is the one that uh, Castoria uses. Oh, it also ignores uh, class defense advantage, disadvantage. And insta kill resist up. And these damage to all enemies. It's a quick uh, AOE, Noble Phantasm. Okay, this is handy. You know, the defensive buffs sometimes can be annoying. <laughs> and it's not only uh, clears out the defensive buff, it also takes out the invincibility, the evade, and everything related to defense, you know, uh, skills. So, handy. Okay, the Noble Phantasm is quite good. Okay, so the. Um, just a sec. Uh, all right, that's it. Yeah. I was trying to find something else, but it's not written here. Anyways, um, so yeah, uh, that was uh, her Noble Phantasm uh, stats. Okay, so as I said, she, she seems like a decent servant. Her skill set is, is nice, quite nice. And her Noble Phantasm is quite handy. It seems as if, like, you know, uh, especially with the ignore uh, the defensive buffs. And you, you, if you like, you know, uh, and she, she's like, uh, what do you call it? AOE, Noble Phantasm user. So... Yeah, it, it, it is quite handy, her uh, uh, Noble Phantasm. So, okay, that was Okta Soji. And uh, just a sec, let's check out the next one. Anastasia and V. Okay, uh, just... Uh, okay, uh, Anastasia and V. So, here, he has... Uh, what 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 is this? I cannot pronounce the name. Just a sec. Sweep 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 Six Summer B. I'm sorry if I miss yeah I'm yeah obviously I mispronounced it. <laughs> Sweep Six Summer B plus uh, increases own arts card effectiveness three turns and increases own NP gauge. Okay, uh, Arts card effectiveness 20% at level 1, 10% at 30, uh, uh, sorry, 30% at level 10, and NP is 30% at level 1, 50% at level 10. Okay. Yeah, decent. Alright, the second skill is called Freezing Summertime A. Grants self invincibility for one turn, increases on buff removal resistance for one turn, gains critical star. Buff removal rate 50% at 1, 100% at 10. Oh, okay. Critical stars is 10, 10 at level 1 and 20 at level 10. Again, uh, I think the, the uh, removal of buff. No, well, on buff removal resistance. This is his own buff removal resist. What does that even mean? Buff removal resist. Oh, so that means she can remove the buffs of the enemy, isn't it? Correct me if I'm wrong. I think so. So if that's if that's the case, then okay, this this skill is will be quite handy at a few instances. So especially at level 10, it will be quite like it has like hundred percent chance. All right, the third skill is called um, acceleration spirit eyes B. Okay, it applies sure hit to self uh, three turns, increases own critical star absorption of. No, wait, what? Uh, increases own critical star absorption of arts card for three turns. Oh, increases on critical damage for three turns, increases on NP damage for three turns. Three turns, increases on NP damage. Okay. Oh, everything's three turns here. Okay, this... Okay, this skill seems quite useful. Yeah. Okay, arts uh, absorption percent is like 300% at level 1, 500% at level 10, grid damage 20% at level 1, 30% at level 10, NP damage 10% at level 1 and 20% at level 10 and it extends toward like you know at like you know 3 turns up until 3 turns so if you can like quickly NP loop her I'm not sure if you can do that but it will be quite handy 
but her noble phantasm is a single target, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, so I don't know if that will help or something. But it will, like, you know, if you can NP loop her, I, I think it will be quite useful. Because three turns, it's, it's like, you know, it's going to extend to us, so. Okay. All right. Uh, the her noble phantasm is called Sneguro. Sneguro. Sneguchori. What? Lord Water. <laughs> These are Russian names, aren't they? I think so. Neguchadik, I think, or something like that. I'm sorry. I must have mispronounced it. But okay, her um, effect deals damage to. No, wait. Deals damage to a single enemy. Yeah, single target NP. Inflict skill seal on the enemy one turn. And uh, wait, that's it? Oh, okay, that's it. All right. Um, yeah, okay, I think, but not like I. I really liked uh, Okta uh, Soji's uh, Noble Phantasm has a lot more. What can I say? Effects and uses. I think this basically is, is skill seals for one turn, and that's just it. So yeah, but you know, like uh, I guess like if you if you look at the third skill, which uh, increases NP damage for three turns. And if you can like NP loop her, that can kind of be helpful, you know, like you can N NP skill every, uh, N NP, uh, not NP seal, sorry, skill seal every turn whenever you use her NP. So, yeah, I think. And, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, decent. Uh, nothing much to talk about, I think. Uh, because, like, Okta's uh, kit was moderate and i think this is quite like you know the usage and the you know, utility is lower than okta's uh, skills and her noble phantasm i might be wrong you know like i'm just judging according to my own <laughs> you know judgment so yeah anyways okay so that was uh uh Anastasia, okay, I forgot to actually check out her uh, ascension art. Okay, let me check them out first. Uh, okay, the first ascension art. It really feels actually weird to actually see her in a, you know, in a, in a dress like this. Because we've always seen her like, you know, in, in her normal dress. So like her kind of in this swimsuit <laughs> kind of feels different. But yeah, okay, we have V here with, an, uh, with a shaved ice cream and Anastasia hat. And a nice little dress, you know, and uh, yeah, she looks happy. And uh, what else? Yeah, it's it's it's, it's a nice um, first ascension art. Okay, the second ascension art. This one I I like it because she's like wearing a hair ornament made of flowers. I think there's like three hibiscus. Yeah, and she has a little. Umbrella, um, umbrella is quite fancy, you know. It's like, it's got, inside of the umbrella is colored like with stars and everything. And uh, okay, V is holding the umbrella. <laughs> My God. So, all right. Um, as I said, I recognized her. This is a girl from the trailer, isn't it? And which uh, who I wasn't able to recognize at all when I saw the trailer. It is Anastasia with her braided hair, you know this is the ascension art that we were seeing and uh, yeah, it's a quite a cute cute dress ascension art you know this one i like this more than the first one so okay all right the third ascension art mm, okay now she's wearing the dress the you know the swimsuit and the skirt and she has a ponytail okay that's nice and oh v is holding a watermelon and she also she has like a tube okay okay even though this ascension art is cute i prefer the second one more yeah I, this is okay but i prefer the second one more than this all right the, the last ascension art oh oh this is quite pretty yeah she's in the water v is also in the water yeah, this is this is pretty. 
he has some flowers in her hand all right the ascension art that i like the most out of all this is like the third second one yeah i like that quite a bit and uh, the ascension art is also not nice the fourth ascension art is also quite pretty okay and uh, that was anastasia and v and the last one uh the last uh, servant that we have for this banner at least is charlotte corday um caster isn't it yeah just a sec yeah charlotte corday uh, caster so first of all we'll check out her ascension art okay the first ascension art is very simple nothing much it's kind of wearing like a swimsuit with a hat and that's just it has a little necklace yeah that is it nothing much to talk about because it is very simple <laughs> all right the second one okay this one was what we saw in the uh, you know in the seven skill demonstration this was the costume that she was wearing um oh she changed her the, the color of the dresses are all white now white and pink and uh, again like a similar type of a dress with a little bit of skirt and a necklace the same necklace i think and yeah and she has a little scrunchie i think those are called scrunchies aren't they yeah in her hand again very simple oh the third one is okay this one is really different okay now she's like in a magician attire now she has like a magician hat with a, a coat type of thing magician coat with some gloves and everything and uh, yeah this is completely magician <laughs> Okay, I, I, oh, she's wearing a glass and glasses. I didn't, I didn't notice that. Okay, I like this one. This, this ascension art is cool. Like, I prefer it more than the other, other two. Okay, and she's kind of standing in front of the audience, I think, doing her magic tricks. Okay, the last ascension art. Oh, is this one? Oh, again, she re returned back to a simple dress and she has like a little flower in her head and uh, yeah she's like wearing a little jacket on top of her swimsuit okay okay her, her ascension art looks very simple in my opinion like all the other servants that we saw they had like some like them like doing some crazy poses and you know some like so many things are happening but her ascension art looks very simple to me but yeah i guess yeah so yeah, it's okay. I prefer the third ascension art more than the all, all the other other ascension arts, and uh, yeah, nothing much to say because it's very simple her ascension art. All right, let's check out her skills now. Okay, her first skill is um, illusionist. Pause. Uh, okay. Increases own art performance for three turns. Okay, three turns art performance increase. Reflects confusion status three turns to all enemies. Okay, thirty percent chance to activate the debuff below every turn when activated. Okay, five hundred percent chance to seal the skills for one turn. Oh, okay. Grants part evasion for one attack one turn. Okay, this I think this is, will be will be quite handy because. But uh, the confusion has 30% chance, isn't it, to activate? Okay, so that kind of makes it... Um... But still, the art's performance increase for 3 turns and part evasion will be handy. So, okay, the art's uh, uh, performance increase is 20% at level 1 and 30% at level 10. Decent. And part evasion will also be quite helpful, you know, like party evasion. Like, for example, if it gets like hit by a... Uh, what do you call it? some kind of a noble phantasm aoe noble phantasm and you use a party evasion you can just get out of that situation and it's kind of like scardis in a way like party evasion for one turn but you can just pop it at like you know as you like it here because it's a skill in the form of a skill you can pop it whenever you want to so yeah okay all right so that was the first skill uh, the second skill is lud ludicrous show planning a chance to seal one enemy skill for one turn oh again skill sealing okay she kind of seems she has more uh, 
uh, skills like that. Okay, gains critical stars every turn for three turns. Increases party's NP damage by 20% for three turns. Okay, another very decent skill, I think. So, skill cha uh, seal chance is 50% at level 1 and 100% at level 10. Oh, okay. So, she can basically like skill seal a lot of servants like this. Like the first one, or even though it has like a 30% chance to skill seal, and this one like has a 100% chance at level 10. So, yeah, it's kind of focused on that, I can see. Star regeneration is like 5 at level 1 and 10 at level 10. Alright. Again, another decent skill. So, and NP damage is also increasing, increased by 20% for 3 turns. Party NP damage, not only hers. Party NP damage. Okay, her, her, her skill sets are looking quite interesting. Okay, the third skill is Angel of Tricks. Uh, charges on NP gods, charges one ally's NP gods. Oh, okay. Uh, NP gods, 20% uh, at level 1, 30% at level 10, both for the ally and yourself. Okay, uh, I think her skill set is, is quite, you know, like, uh, you know, useful in a lot of, will be useful in quite a few situations. All right, uh, <coughs> a noble phantasm. Okay, uh, deals damage to one enemy. Okay, uh, her noble phantasm is actually called, wait a minute, what is it called? La file di un nuit. I think that's what it's called. Alright, deals damage to one enemy, gains 20 critical stars. Wait, that's it? Oh, okay, that's it. But you know what, as I said, like, you know, her skills are very you know, useful in a, a lot of ways. So yeah, I can kind of see that, like, you know, her noble phantasm doesn't have much, you know, doesn't have many things, but her skills have. So, okay, I think, yeah, okay, yeah, she, she has quite a uh, few useful skills. All right. So, okay, that was Charlotte Corday. And, uh, okay, so let's check out the last servant. Uh, the Vinci Archer, I think. Oh, wait a minute. She's not an archer, she's a ruler. Why am I even calling her archer? I've been calling her archer for so long. <laughs> she's a ruler. Okay, my mistake. All right, okay, so first let's check out her um, ascension art. The first one, obviously we know what it is. Oh, it's a dinosaur. That little thing that we saw, which I was calling a rhino. That's a dinosaur. Each and every one of them are like dinosaurs, I think. Okay, like one is like a land dinosaur, which has like the red color. It's a buster card, I'm guessing. Buster card one. The blue one has like art arts card. It's like a sea dinosaur. And the green one is like a flying dinosaur, I think. Okay. Okay, all of them are dinosaurs. Like I was calling it a rhino or something. <laughs> while I saw the, like, you know, when I was watching the Noble Phantasm. But all right, so that that is it. It's like this is um, the first ascension art. Obviously, we can see that it's like a cute little dress, and she has the two three bullets which she uses to actually summon these things as a gun. And that's why I made a mistake. I think like when she was using a gun. I thought she was an archer all this while. I never noticed her ruler symbol. My God. <laughs> okay. And uh, yeah, okay. So that is the first ascension art. Mm, she has like her head like, hair in a ponytail. I'm quite happy because I don't have Da Vinci and we're actually going to get her as a free servant. Okay, the final ascension art is where she has her, her dress is changed. It's like a white uh, swimsuit with all the dinosaurs in their big form. <laughs> yeah, the big dinosaur, the water dinosaur, we can see the um, land dinosaur and the fly flying dinosaur. And there are little fishes in here. And yeah, this is a cute art. This, this is a really cute art. And yeah, you're finally going to get Da Vinci, people who don't have her. Like, unfortunate people like me. <laughs> okay, All right. Let's check out her skills. The first skill, Dreaming Machine A. Uh, increases one ally's quick performance three turns. Increases their arse performance three turns. Buster performance three turns. Oh, you can select a servant. Okay. Uh, level 1 is 10% and level 10 is 
Okay. Uh, eh, kind of an okay skill, you know, like for three turns. Okay, uh, okay, for three turns, then 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 it's fine. You no, know, like I, I was thinking, like, what would it even do if like three of them increases? Like, what? How will it even help? But for three turns, you can kind of like you know, I think use it for an extended amount of time, even though the damage multiplier is quite less, like twenty percent at level ten. So, okay. All right, the second skill, Pressure Checker, checker A, charges one ally's NP gauge, charges their NP generation rate three turns. Again, one ally's, not herself. So she's like a support servant. Okay, NP uh, gauge uh, charge 10% at level one, 20% at level 10. NP rate gain 20% at level one, 30% at level 10. All right, she's like a support servant, I can see that. The third skill, uh, it is called Sparkling in the Twilight, EX, increases parties, oh, parties NP damage for three turns, overcharge parties NP by one stage for one turn. Oh, parties NP overcharge by one stage, reduces all enemies critical attack chance for three turns. Okay. Okay, NP damage 10% uh, increase at level 1, 20% at level 10, crit chance decrease 10% at level 1, 20% at level 10. Okay, so what does this mean? Overcharges parties NP by one stage for one turn. Like, uh, does that mean like, like, you know, when you use your NP, like, you know, in, in the end, like, you know, in, in, the, in the bottom, you get to see like how much charge you have. You know, it sometimes gets to 200%, 300% if you have multiple copy of limit broken them. So does this mean that if you don't have a limit broken servant, Still, you're going to get the overcharge bonus. Does that mean that, or you need to have her limit broken, the servant? Otherwise, you won't get it. it uh, let me know in the comments if you know anything about that. So that's the one thing. Uh, like this kind of a question mark in my head. But yeah, okay. So she's basically a support servant. You know, she kind of supports other servant. She can also support herself. But okay, that's that kind of makes it a good thing. So yeah okay so that was that and her noble phantasm it's called uh dinosaur summer goodbye <laughs> okay um deals damage to one enemy grants one random buff from these three effects only one can be activated oh it's random okay the green bullet this was what i was saying you know like it changes the noble phantasm changes gains 30 crit stars oh it has like a 33 percent chance of activating blue bullet Charges NP's gauge, uh, NP gauge by 20% and red bullet increase but party's attack by 20% for 3 turns. Okay, this is nice. It's kind of like an RNG, you know, random thing. <laughs> you don't know what's going to happen. But yeah, I guess, you know. So, okay, interesting. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so that was it. That was her... Uh, skill set and the noble phantasm and uh she's a ruler so i guess it's fine but you know guy I, I was under the impression that she's an archer <laughs> like yeah who would have who would have guessed she's a ruler like she had a gun in her hand so i i just thought that she's an archer <laughs> but anyways okay so yeah that was da vinci ruler and she's a free servant everyone's going to get her she has a decent amount of skills a decent noble phantasm it's a good servant, I think, in my opinion. So, yeah, okay, so that was it. Oh my god, this became a long video. Oh, <laughs> like so many things to actually check out. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good event, and this is barely the start. You know, I'm guessing the next uh, summoning, like in the next banner, which we're going to have within a few more days, we are going to have some other new servants. Uh, most probably, we'll, I, I'm not sure if we're going to get, say, Shonagon. Probably we'll get her. I don't know uh, maybe Kama we're going to get I think that was Kama that we saw in the uh, trailer I'm not sure though I can be wrong and I'm not sure wh wh who else we'll get but we will get some new servants and I'm quite excited for that hopefully we get Kama I'm really looking forward to that so yeah so that was it guys uh, that was my reaction to all summer servants of JP 2021 so if I have made like any mistakes in like you know whatever I like checked out and everything, 
let me know in the comment section because uh you know i kind of try to interpret everything according to my knowledge i might be completely wrong though because i'm not like uh what do you call it like someone who like analyzes these things and stuff i'm just giving my opinion on it so i might be completely off the mark completely wrong so be sure to correct me if i'm wrong about anything so yeah guys so that was it guys thank you guys for watching and uh, that was a long video and i checked each and everything out about this event and if i miss something be sure to let me know and uh, also let me know if karma really is going to get a you know chance and uh, in my opinion uh, if the next banner has either karma or some other like you know servants who i like as a rate up then uh, when this comes to na i'll probably skip this banner you know but that depends on the next banner like i'll have to make the decision later on after we see what's we would we, what we're going to get in the next banner but yeah it depends so because obviously karma irish girl all like these type of characters are my first priority so and before this we actually are getting like oberon uh, konyan skaya and like you know morgan lance lay fey lancelot fey gawain fey Kristen, like all these servants so i'm sure my at, at that moment my sq levels will be quite low so i'll have to make some tough decisions <laughs> so yeah so yeah guys that was it thank you guys for watching so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed we're very close to 1k, 1K subscribers it will really help if you subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say if i made any mistakes or anything be sure to correct me down as well and let me know so yeah thank you guys for watching and everyone who are trying to summon for them i wish you the best of luck and i'll see you guys in the next fgo video i'll be linking down all the videos used in the description box and all the original videos that i reacted to and everything all be linked all will be linked down in the description box and also link my fgo playlist which have all of my other fgo content if you want to check them out click on the link in the description and you'll go go there it'll take you there so yeah so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next fgo video so until then goodbye and have a nice day